Hello everyone, welcome back to Wrestleworld. Today is a quarter final cup game, uh, the Barnet Intermediate Cup between Fireside and Trent Park. Uh, I was waiting all this morning to uh, see if the game was actually on. The Fireside management went to West Hendon playing fields uh, and said the pitch was fit to play because it's been raining for the last couple of days. They sent in a video, uh, pitch looks fine, surprisingly. I was at West Hendon a couple of months ago, I got observed there. Uh, it didn't even rain that much and there was a bit in the corner that was waterlogged. Uh, so we're going to go there anyway. He said the pitch is fine. We're going to go there and see for ourselves. I would be very surprised if that same corner isn't waterlogged. But we've had confirmation that the game is on. So we're going to make our way there. Um, Fireside are playing Trent Park in the quarterfinals. They're both in the same division. I'll put the table here. Uh, Trent Park are going for promotion. Fireside... Kind of struggling at the moment. They've played each other once already this season. Fireside beat them 6-4. Uh, so it should be interesting. Fireside are clearly the favourites if they've beat them before this season. A uh, bit about Trent Park. I used to play football with a lot of their players. This was years ago. Uh, five, six of their players. We won the London Cup together. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how they get on today. I know a few of their players are very good. Fireside, like I said, I've refed them once before this season. Uh, they beat Continental 3-2. they got some really good players. So uh, this is going to be a great game. A uh, chance for a team to get into the semi-finals of the Barnet Intermediate Cup. Uh, and the winner of this game will play either Highgate Albion Seconds or Monia Youth. So a very good chance for them to get into the final. Uh, so we're just going to make our way to the ground now. Obviously, I'm going to do a lot of pre-match recording. Uh, and also, I've figured out a way to avoid the win by putting a mic uh, very close to my uh, neck it'll be like around this area so hopefully there's no wind as well so you can hear conversations quite clearly uh, so let's just make our way to the ground i'll do pre-match and then we'll jump straight into a game i uh, hope you enjoy it is that your team there? Yeah. cool kits are coming yeah, good yeah. to see yeah. Yeah. there's marco yeah. I'm just going to put on my boots. I'm literally just going to put on my boots and walk to the ground because it's so far away and my trainers will just get ruined. So quickly going to change. Change ready actually. Just boots on. Warm up a little bit, check the pitch, even though it's checked already. Uh, but obviously got to do another check, make sure there's no standing water or anything. And then, uh, yeah, do a bit more pre-match. Say hello to the teams and stuff. And, um, get into the game. Hopefully you can hear better because I've got them. I've got a mic now because of the wind and I've even got a little wind mark in. I don't know if you can see it, it's here. So uh, we'll see if the audio picks up better. Let's walk into the pitch now. Hold up. Let me show you quickly from the changing rooms, which is over there where the steps are and the pitch is very far away. So I'm not sure what pitch I'm playing on. There's a pitch right at the front there. Oh, there's one right in the corner. Um, sometimes, Fireside play right in the corner. Look at this puddle. Jesus. Yeah, I cleaned my boots the other day as well. I need to walk around here. Clean my boots and then what? Two minutes in, they're done. That's why I hate cleaning my boots because you know they're going to get dirty. So I'm just trying to find out. I can see the players walking right into the corner. I would love to keep on the grass. Actually, because I'm wearing boots. So there's a team warming up all the way over there where the camera's facing. I don't know if that's my team or there's a team walking all the way into that corner, which I feel like is fireside because that's what pitch they normally use. Ah, this is a long walk. This is my warm-up done. This is why I get here 45 minutes early because it takes 40 minutes to walk to the pitch. <laughs> but no, good time, it's 10 o'clock. Get over to the pitch, warm up. Um, say hello to everyone. Like I said, check the pitch. And then it's game time. But yeah, as you can see, I'm walking over to that pitch the furthest pitch away from the car park. 
because that's the pitch for I like to use. Last time I came here, I was observed against Continental. Well, I I played Continental. And it just, the pitch wasn't the best. I'm not a big fan of West Hendon playing fields. Uh, only because the grass is long. The lines aren't the best. The pitch is small. So, it makes it very difficult for me. Especially when the ball goes out for like throwing and stuff. And obviously, as you know, with the Barnet League, on league games, you don't really, you don't have assistance. So, um, you're just calling it yourself. So when you're not at the best angle, unless you're on the line, you can't really see it. But when we get over there, I'll kind of show you the lines if you can see them. But yeah. Right. Gonna head over there. That's Fireside. They're out and ready. Trent Park I saw in the changing room. So they're getting ready. Typical Sunday league, setting up the nets. It don't feel waterlogged. Obviously that part at the entrance was a massive puddle there, but as you get further and further away, I don't know if you can see there's a slight slope. So all the water will probably be drained over there somewhere. So there shouldn't be any on the pitch. I'm gonna check the one corner that they were standing water last time. And if it's fine, then the pitch is good. But at the moment, this one looks fine. So I'm assuming the one next to it is perfect. Look, look, look at this pitch. Look at the lines. You can't see the line. Look, where is the white line here? Look, I'm standing on it here because you can see a bit of white. Hopefully that pitch over there is not like that. We'll see. Right, let's go say hello to Fireside. Yeah, yeah, then you guys, good to see you again. See. How's the pitch looking? Is this the best pitch here? Yeah? yeah, yeah. All the other ones aren't the best? Nah, these ones are a bit too small. Yeah, yeah, so I we've can had see. played on them a few times. The one at the bottom. What, this one here on the right? You got played on the foot, yeah. That used to be our home pitch, yeah. but now it's. That one's big. tiny though, no? No, it's big. No, that one here on the corner, the first one you walk past, yeah? Yeah. yeah. That one's big. Is it? But it always gets waterlogged. Yeah, because it's going downhill, so the yeah, water yeah. goes over here. I know, I've done the game against Continental and there was that massive puddle in the corner, yeah, wasn't it? Still there. It's still there? Yeah, that's the only thing I've <laughs> Alright, let me quickly go. Have you got a ball I can use just so I can go over and. Yeah. Even a flat. One just there. Lydia, maybe you send me that ball there. This one, yeah? yeah I'll take it over there. Cheers, thank you. There you go. Look how faded the lines are. So. I'll get into position where I'll be in game, which is like in the middle of the pitch over there somewhere. And then you'll see if you can spot the lines. So I remember here, it was waterlogged. So testing the ball now. It's moving, it's moving. I'm trying to see where the puddle is. Oh, okay. I can see it now. All right, let me tell you, let me show you. This is the only bit. Look, see this? Standing water, ball stops. Oh, yeah, ball stops massively. And here is all. Oh, that's why I'm not a footballer. Because I passed it right over the puddle. My foot is soaked, by the way. My foot is soaked. <laughs> uh, as you saw there. That's annoying because when he done the pitch inspection, he didn't show this bit. But as you can see, there's this one puddle here. Jeez. And it's literally a puddle. So this is, we're right in the corner of the pitch. Uh, here as well. But that's right on the line. I'm not too fussed about that. That's the only bit I'm worried about. So I'm going to have to ask them to um, try and clear this a little bit. Because this is, this is a puddle on a pitch. Right, let's go speak to them. That corner's bad, bro. Bad, I'm not going to call it off, but that corner's bad. Yeah, it's horrible. Ain't no one come with a broom or anything. Can't anyone come with a broom. I done that last week, you know. I was at Enfield playing fields. There were puddles like that. John brought me a brute <laughs> rid of it. John, this is too far from him, isn't it? Huh? This yeah, is way too far from him. And he's probably got a match anyways. Nah, man. No one comes. We don't. To be honest. Or a bucket or anything. This, pi this pitch is yeah. always good. It's just that. It's just that. Yeah, I remember last time. Literally, I just said it. I remember last yeah. time as well. We'll I'm play it. Thing. Unless you find anything in the bushes. We're, we're all out. We'll play it, but it is. Okay, it's, it's not bad. good over there. It's bad. <laughs> Let me know now. <laughs> if you're still playing that game after seeing that puddle um, bearing in mind what game it is so Sunday League although that shouldn't really matter uh, 
think if it was a Saturday game, they'd clear that little puddle easily. We have, I don't know, like last week I had a game at Enfield playing for there was a puddle literally like that. But John from the Barnet League, the league sec, literally brought me down a broom from B&Q. So we got rid of it, put a bit of sand there and the game was playable. Obviously both teams are going to be happy they're out now. But you saw it, 20 minutes to kick off. Uh, that's not going to get clear before then. They don't have anything. So I'm going to show the bit where the ball goes in there and it just stops and everyone's just going to get soaked. But I see Trent Park coming now, so go quickly say hello to them. I need to get ready and warm up. The rest of the pitch is fine. It's just that corner. I knew it anyway. As I was walking up, I said it. I knew it was that corner. I don't know what it is about that corner, but it always gets soaked. Uh, the lines aren't too bad, like I said, actually. I thought they were going to be worse, but you can see it. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Trent Park are walking over here, or they might be over there. I'll go say hello anyway, and then um, it's my time to get ready. <laughs> <I'll see. laughs> oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Good to see oh, you yeah, again. Yeah. yeah, man. <laughs> they put me on the game. The guy pulled off. Camera, My little yeah. camera, yeah, man. The guy pulled off. I was like, I'll ref this game. They put, you? Yeah, I'm good, man. How you been? Yeah, not bad. Still playing for these lot, yeah? Good. Playing Saturdays or no? Done with it. Change, man. Is it? That's what happens with old age, isn't it? <laughs> oh, damn. What's going on? Yeah, man. What's going on? Yeah, I'm good, you? Let's get right into the game. Fireside to kick us off first in this quarterfinal clash. So the first 20 or so something minutes was a very quiet game, I blew my whistle once for an offside and then this happens, the first thing to happen in the game and someone was standing in the way, uh, so a player shot, it went under the keeper into the goal and the keeper was claiming that it went through the side of the net, it never did, it went straight under his body into the goal. That guy was in the way so we couldn't see but Fireside have sent me their footage so we can see from their angle, hopefully if the ball went in or not. Just want to give a quick shout out to Fireside for sending me their angle of the goal. Uh, go follow them on their own YouTube channel and Instagram as well. I'll put the links down in the description below. Uh, so let's take a look if this ball actually went inside the goal. As you can see there, it did. Uh, we'll replay it. We're going to slow it down as well and pause it just to make sure it definitely went inside the post. So let's take one more look at it. It's slowed down. The guy takes a shot. It goes under the keeper's body. And as you can see there, it's gone inside the post uh the reason being you can see the ball covering the post had it gone outside you would have seen the post and then the ball uh, or the post covering the ball so it's clearly gone inside the post and it's a goal to fireside And that's the half time whistle, Fireside are 3-0 up. This first half has been a bit like the Highgate game from the last video. Not a lot has been happening. I've played a couple of advantages. Uh, I've blown the whistle about three, four times. A couple of small fouls, one or two offsides. And that's been just about it. So let's jump straight into the second half where it gets a lot more interesting. Like I said, this half is going to be a lot more interesting and already four minutes in, it's our first yellow card of the game for stopping a promising attack. Uh, 
Penalty to Trent Park and our second booking of the game. Apparently the fireside player got the ball. Let's take another look at this. And there's no way studs onto the player's foot as he goes to either cross it or shoot. Let me know if you think he got the ball or if it was a penalty from that replay. And just after Trent Park scored the rebound, as you can hear, they're screaming for offside. Uh, it's a goal. So it's 3-1 to Fireside. Trent Park have the ball in the goal, but I've given offside. So let's take another look. As the striker flicks it on with his head, this player with the arrow on his head is offside. You can see he's on the wrong side of the defender facing the goal. Uh, he was in front of everyone. I had such a clear view of it. The ball is actually going in the goal, but then he taps it in here, which makes him offside. So the goal is disallowed. Uh, let me know if you think it was offside. If he had left it, it would have been 3-2, but he touched it. So he was offside. going to quickly talk through this one let me know if you see a foul just here uh, because the 21 for Trent Park suffers a cut on his left knee uh, so quickly look back at that let me know if you think it was a foul it was just a coming together and he unfortunately got a clip around his knee area and it cut him uh, so would you have given a free kick then So the game nearly descends into a mass con. Let's take another look back at it. I give the free kick because the player shouts leave it, puts off an opponent. Uh, you can only do it when your own player is around in the vicinity no other defending players are. Uh, so the nine is delaying the restart of play right now. So he's going to get booked. Look, you can see him uh, blocking the pass, won't get out of the way. So he's been booked for delaying the restart of play. 17 tugs on his arm. Uh, so now there's verbal, so blowing the whistle. That guy throws the ball at his shoulder. I'm in between them because I don't want a repeat of the NLA game. Moving the players away, so now it's just verbals. That guy's helping out moving the nine away uh, because he's quite irate at the moment. Also, the three will get booked as well for throwing the ball at the player's shoulder. He's saying he tried to throw it back, but you saw on the replay he didn't. Uh, so two bookings and a free kick to Trent Park on the halfway line uh, for the player shouting, leave it. As you see there, the seven for Fireside that has a tiny little kick out on the player on the floor in frustration of giving him a yellow card. Would you have issued a red card uh, for that tiny little kick out? In the meantime, it's a free kick to Trent Park. And that's the full time whistle. Fireside win the game 3 2 and progress to the semi finals of the Barney Intermediate Cup. Crazy second half compared to the first half. It's amazing how quick a game can turn and how you have to just focus for the full 90 as a referee. Let me know how you think I done, especially in the second half. There wasn't much in the first half. Uh, if you agree with the offside, if you agree with the penalty, and if you agree with uh, the yellow card right at the end, I promise there will be some post match in a video one day. I had to shoot off to another game. 
that was Memichik versus NLA in another semi-final clash. I was the assistant there. Got a few clips which I'll play you just before we finish the video. But I hope you enjoyed this match and we'll see you next week for another video on Breast of the World. <laughs>